Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome to this Motivational Monday. This is Killer K Rail and this is... Jill Mulshan. Good morning everybody. Okay, today we're gonna go right down to the nuts and bolts. It's a post-holiday weekend. We get post-holiday weekday, which is Monday. I'm super excited about today. I have a lot of momentum, I have a lot of energy, and I know a lot of you probably may not have that same spring a new step today, but just love yourself, forgive yourself, get over anything you did over the weekend. Today's a brand new day, start from scratch, start making small progressive moves forward. And one way you can do that is by implementing this fun tool behind us that we're gonna show you this week, and we're gonna showcase called the Stability Ball, which is a great home workout piece of equipment. Jill's doing some ab exercise as we speak right now. Look at that beautiful oh, side bend. That's actually called a Saxon side bend. You have an implement above your head and you bend sideways. Oh. So today, we're not gonna go like really hardcore into the actual exercises. Jill's just gonna be demonstrating some things back there as we do some, some talk about it. So I wanna tell you exactly what size ball you need, first of all, because that is critically important. It's not critically important, but it's very important to get proper form and technique with your exercises. But the stability ball by itself, a lot of you like to use to do core things. And we talk a lot about the core because it is so important in the framework of the physiology and the anatomy of the body. So the ball itself can be used as an implement, like Jill is using it as a handheld instrument. And you can also lie on it in different positions to work your core. And it could also be used as a accessory to hold yourself while you're using other tools like dumbbells and medicine balls. And we're gonna get into all those nuts and bolts during the week. But today I wanna show you something really quick. I'm gonna grab another one, hold on. Enjoy watching Jill as she does some things. Like back. So, when it comes to the size of your stability ball, you're always gonna see these listed, usually in centimeters when you're buying one. Usually it's like 45, 55, 65, 70, 75, and 10 centimeter increments. So I just know from past experience, the right size ball for me is 65 centimeters. But if you're ever unsure and you have access to some, say you got one at a garage sale or something, you might, you might wanna buy it. The trick is you wanna sit on your ball, and you want your thighs to be parallel to the floor, and you wanna have about a 90 degree bend in your knee. Let's see how Jill looks over there. Yeah, see? Jill looks perfect. That right there is I'm the- I'm 45, I'm five foot. Like on my tallest day, I'm five feet, I'm five when, foot. When you do inversion, you're probably five foot, one half inch. I could possibly be five one, but I think I'm shrinking as I get older. So I use a 45, love, love, love it. 55, too big, 65, too big. But Kevin is- I'm about 6'3", and this is 65 centimeter, I believe, yeah? 65, uh-huh. Yeah, so as you can see, my thighs are about parallel to the floor, about a 90 degree bend here. Now, I do want to tell you one thing that you should get familiar with when you first get your ball. Sit on it, and just watch TV and do some things for like 30 seconds, one minute at a time, even longer, and just get adapted and kind of wiggle it around like this, because it looks easy what I'm doing right now, but if you've never sat on a stability ball, it's way different than a chair. It's an unstable object. It's a circle, it's a sphere. And the more air you have on it, the more unstable it's going to be. If less air, it's gonna be more stable. So when you start using a stability ball, if you wanna decrease the air a little bit to make it a little more stable, that's totally fine. You can also get these that have sand in the bottom. They're called stay balls. So you have two different options. I don't particularly like those because I like the core challenge and the instability of the ball because that's the whole idea because it fires up a lot, of more, a lot more muscle fibers. So the second thing I want you to do is just sit on your ball and then when you get comfortable, start walking out like this until so you arrive at what's called a bench position like so. Jill's been in this doing core exercises. She's already getting a good workout right now. Make sure your head and shoulders are on the ball and then just simply lift your head up and then walk right back up to here. So do that like five or six times. That can be your first basic drill that you want to do on the stability ball. And then come on back up. Because that bench position is going to be valuable once you start adding implements like dumbbells and medicine balls down the road, which we'll get to this week. So, as far as I'm concerned, that's pretty much all I got to say for today. And this is a drill that you can start doing immediately. Awesome. I'm going to move out of the way here. Nice job, Kevin! Thanks. And then you can come into a squat position. Okay, guess what I will never I am so joking inside the fight. Don't you dare try that at home. Don't try it at home. Unless you're an aerialist and you're in the oh Olympics, gosh, then you guys, can do it. Oh my gosh, guys, that felt amazing. Okay, I just did upper body, I did lower body, I did core, uh, my heart rate's up, and it feels amazing. Like, my lower back is sore. Kevin and I did um, what I would consider a huge run. Oh yesterday. my gosh, my soleuses are killing me today. My whole body's <laughs> killing me, like my whole lower back. And, and my, my feet are still back. black. Are my feet black? Eight miles barefoot yesterday, are they black? Yeah, and he came in and my kids were like, your feet are dirty, Kevin. <laughs> I'm like, I just ran eight miles on black top, what do you think? Uh-huh, it's gonna through, happen. Through uh, glass. Yeah, I got a laceration right there. But it's not bad, it's fine. Yeah, it's I'll always stuff. be running in shoes. Oh, whatever, it's yeah, all good. Yeah, whatever. It's all good. At least we got out and we did something. Yeah. Okay, hey guys, so stay tuned for Medicine Ball this week. I th or For Stability, stability ball. ball, you guys are gonna love this. Um, it's gonna be a dynamic workout. It's gonna be one that, seriously, if you wanted to just have something like this in your house, 
you need about what? Five by five. Five by five. It's the, like at the most, and you can have your own workout spot. Hey, Spider Man. Hi, Mama. What's up, buddy? Um. Anyway, fun for everybody. Limited <laughs> amount of space. It's gonna work. It'll it'll work for everyone. So hopefully you guys will tune in tomorrow. We're gonna do what? Core. Yeah. Upper body, lower, lower body, body, and then implements. Holy cow, that needs to go down just a little bit. Okay, guys, we are getting taken over by the Littles of America. So we will see you tomorrow. Yes, have a great day. Okay, have Real. a great motivation Monday. Jill Mulshon, flex it up, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Till tomorrow. Poopy.